Hi everyone, my name is Nitin Kumar and I am a Partner Solution Architect at AWS. Today I will be walking through console enhancements on AWS Network Firewall. AWS Network Firewall is a managed firewall service that makes it easy to deploy essential network protections for all your Amazon VPCs. The service automatically scales with network traffic volume to provide high availability protections without the need to set up or maintain the underlying infrastructure. You can use console workflows for AWS Network Firewall to create AWS Network Firewall and Network Firewall rule groups. You can create stateful or stateless rule groups and Suricata compatible rule string is one of the supported rule group format for stateful rule group. You can use the console to add rule group options such as name, description and signature identification to your rules. You can configure rules using rule variables, IP set preference or Suricata compatible rule strings. You can also easily get a detailed description of the feature using the help panel. These console enhancements are completed for all commercial AWS regions and the AWS GovCloud regions in US where AWS Network Firewall is available to give you a consistent user experience. Let us now navigate to the AWS Network Firewall console to see this console experience in action. We'll search for Network Firewall, which is one of the VPC features. Under VPC, you can click on the Network Firewall. So for purpose of this demo, I have already created a demo firewall that we are going to use. Click on Network Firewall Rule Groups on the left and we are going to create a custom rule group which is going to be stateful. Now rule group format, we can use the Suricata compatible rule string but with the new console workflow, you can use the standard stateful rule but still use the Suricata strings rule string uh, you know, as one of the options. So click Next give it name so i'm going to say pass tcp22 which is a simple rule that pass all tcp traffic for port 22 capacity i'm just going to use 4 now at any point in time if you need help understanding these features click on info and you will have the detailed description of the feature on the right click next for configuring the rules, you can use any of these options, whether it is going to be the IP set variables or if you want to use the IP set references. But for this one, we are going to use a standard stateful rule. For protocol, it is TCP, any source IP, any source port, any destination IP, but the port for TCP traffic 22. We're going to state the action as pass. And under rule options, we're going to click on add rule option where I'm going to use flow as stateless and signature ID of this. Here you can click on add rule. You can always add more rule options if you want and then add the rule as relevant. With this, click on next. You can always use your own managed key for encrypting the traffic or if, if you don't use the customer managed key, the network AWS network firewall will use its default key to encrypt your data. Click next, add any relevant tags, click next, review the information that you have just created and click on create rule group. Now this will create the rule group but the rule group has not been associated with the network fi firewall yet. So we go back to network firewall, click on the firewall that we have just created. Under firewall policy settings, we scroll down to the, st uh, to the stateful rule group, click on actions and add unmanaged stateful rule group unmanaged because it's a custom one that we have created you will see the past tcp22 rule group here select that and click on add stateful rule group 
Now this will associate the rule group that we have just created with the AWS Network Firewall. Thank you for your time and I hope you do check out and provide feedback on the new console experience for AWS Network Firewall.